Hi, welcome to this masterclass course in partnership with Zion Tech. My name is Kyle Loftus, aka Cal Visuals. Today we are covering introduction to lighting, color temperature, tint, white balance, CRI, and lighting types. Now first, color temperature. Color temperature is a system that uses numerical values to measure the color characteristics of a light source on a spectrum ranging from warm colors to cool colors. Numerical values are referred to as degrees of Kelvin. We often associate orange with warm and blue with cold, but on the color temperature chart, it's actually the opposite. Higher values are cooler tones such as blue, and lower values are warmer tones such as yellow. Candlelight is 1900, golden hour is about 3200, fluorescence 4200, daylight 55, and overcast 6500. Now that you understand what color temperature is, you might be wondering how this applies. This is where white balance comes into play. White balance is a setting in digital cameras that determines which Kelvin temperature will appear true white. This is important for capturing colors and light sources as they truly are and how you desire. This is also where having raw capabilities is huge. You can fix it in post. Now, I don't recommend building this habit, but it is possible. However, now for example, if we're shooting an exterior in natural daylight, the color temperature would be 5600 Kelvin. You would then wanna set your white balance in your camera to 5600 Kelvin. You're gonna do this to match the light source. This is especially important for capturing accurate skin tones. It's also really important to be aware of mixing light. For example, in this scene right here, right? Like I am using a natural source as well as a practical in the back with a tungsten balance, right? But the idea here is we wanna be really in full control of these. And this is why I love the Zion Tech ecosystem, like the G200s I'm using for the key, or even better yet, the Fiverr V60 tube lights here, right? These are LED lights and I get full control of the color temperature, intensity, uh, they got some great uh, lighting modes and effects as well. And, and so again, I really love utilizing these lights because I get full control of all of these aspects, right? And I also didn't mention, they actually have a music mode in there where it actually alters the light to the music. Pretty cool, right? Now, talking further on this, regular color temperature is measured on a red, yellow, white, and blue spectrum, while tint is an added variation, right? It's going along of a green and magenta spectrum. So when you're making white balance adjustments, it's now conventional to adjust both in most cameras, and they allow you to do so. CRI, or Color Rendering Index. This is a way of measuring a light source's accuracy and quality. The better the CRI, the more reliable the light source. So when we have a good CRI, this means that we are rendering a true color. 96 or higher is really ideal. Um, and again, this is an assessment of how the light source shows a true and natural color. Uh, when compared to a familiar basis of references, and this is one of the biggest reasons why I like all the lights in the Zion Tech ecosystem they all have a CRI of 96 or better. Not only that, they actually have a stronger intensity than any other lighting company with a lighting product of the same size. So incredible, incredible light sources. Now to cover lighting types, there are HMIs, tungstens, practicals, and LEDs. First and foremost, HMIs. These are much more efficient, four times more so than your average tungsten. Upon turning electricity into light, and now as a result of this, this means that uh, the power needed for the equipment is a lot, right? HMIs run cooler, and most importantly, their color temperature matches daylight. However, HMIs are also extremely strong and require an outlet or a generator for power, right? These are not battery operated. Tungsten lights, right? These stay on warm color balance. They're typically around 2700 Kelvin. They don't change color balance, temperature, or tint. They typically don't have effects, they get really hot, and they also require an outlet and a generator. Additionally, they're pretty outdated. LEDs are my personal favorite because, well, a lot of reasons, right? They don't get hot, they're cheap, you can use them to shape light, they come with many, many attachments, you're often able to adjust the color temperature, tint, they have added effects, RGB modes, uh, music modes like these, right? Uh, they're extremely durable, require less power, they're portable, right? These are all just a number of reasons why I like the Zion Tech ecosystem. Again, they are all LED lights with built-in cooling systems, silent fans. They're incredibly portable and they just work. Now, finally, I wanna to touch on how I'm lighting all of this and what are some of my favorite aspects 
to all of these lights. So again, this right here is the Fiverr V60. So this is a tube light by Zion Tech. It's compatible and portable, less than two pounds in weight. Again, true to life color with a CRI of about 96. It can max out at about 100 watts and you can effortlessly adjust the intensity as well as the color temperature with these knobs on the side. Additionally, on top of that, as I talked about, this has built-in effects, music mode, lighting mode, battery operate, as well as it can operate while plugged in. It has the Dynavort active cooling system. Again, and this active cooling system uh, is what allows this light to have a max power output, again, 100 watts, way better than any other light at this same size. So absolutely love these lights. Now, talking about the Molus G200 light, right? Not only does it have a really high output and power, it brings us a new experience with 180 degree flexibility. Full light separation. It allows seamlessly dimming. It's perfect for studios, live streaming rooms, and movie sets, right? One press to max extreme mode for 300 watts of peak output. This also has the Dynavort cooling system. It's easily equipped with a variety of lighting control accessories. It comes in three different professional scenes and modes, be that normal, live mode, and music mode. Additionally, with the G200, you get wireless control through the CY Vega app, which supports Bluetooth mesh networking, allows for remote dimming, as well as quick switching amongst presets. Lastly, talking about the Molus G60. This is always ready for 100% output with 60 watts. It's fast and easy charging with a DC adapter or PD fast charge. The G60 also adopts the Dynavort cooling system, uh, preventing overheating. It's extremely lightweight under 300 grams, it's literally like a mini Rubik's cube. So the possibilities are endless when it comes to this convenient, fast and easy light. And that covers everything for today's workshop. Thank you so much for tuning in on behalf of myself, as well as Zion Tech. To reiterate everything we learned today, we covered color temperature, tint, CRI, as well as the various lighting types. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and I can't wait to see you in the next.